Okay, the waterfall model. So um, essentially what this, the waterfall model is, is that you plan out a project at the very start, and then you go through the phases of the project, um, phase by phase, until you have your product at the end. Um, the, the waterfall model is very rigid, um, and it doesn't allow you to go back once you've completed a phase. So um, I'm not really sure what the great advantages are of the waterfall model. It seems like uh, it, it's, it's too rigid to and inflexible to allow for a, a really uh, great uh, project experience, but um, it, it exists, and, and I'm sure you can Google plenty of good examples of it. Um, so that's the main waterfall uh, model idea. Um, the, there, are, there are variants of it. There's the sashimi model, um, which it sounds like it's a little bit more um, flexible than the waterfall model, and basically what that means is the layers of each, each layer of the project overlap with each other. Um, so, uh, and I think it's based on um, a Japanese food, uh, sashimi. So, um, and then another variant of it is called the V-shape model. So, um, and you know, it starts at the V-shape, so it starts at the very end, at the bottom there is, is the code, and as you progress along through the V-shape model, you go uh, left to right, so, so um, you, 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 you initiate the project phase, and then you complete it, and then you test it. So you, you go project test, project test, until you get down to the bottom, which is the, the V. Um, and that, that's the V-shaped model. It seems like it, it's, it's still rigid because you don't go backwards, but um, it avoids some of the, the pitfalls of just general waterfall um, because you're actually testing along the way, which I think is awesome. Um, and then the last one I have is the spiral model. And the spiral model is, uh, from my understanding of it, it's very similar to the V-shaped model. Um, the difference being you're, you know, you're testing along the way as you continue through the project, through the project, but um, you're doing a risk analysis at every step of the way. So um, I think it's a, 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 it's a, a more robust V-shaped model. Um, so those are the, the basics of waterfall model.